Hi everyone, this is Dr. Marcus Ross with Cornerstone Educational Supply and we've got a real treat here for our very first uh, video product uh, demo. What we have here are two different human anatomy bottles, a full size 33 inch tall human anatomy torso and a smaller 18 inch size human anatomy torso. We know that uh, a lot of students will be studying anatomy, particularly with classical conversation cycle three. You've got six weeks worth of human anatomy to do with that and uh, those who are in challenge A do a 10-week anatomy project uh, every single year. So if you are a uh, CC director of uh, Foundations Essentials uh, or of challenge A, you may be interested uh, in taking a look at what we've got here today. Uh, for others, uh, whether you're in a homeschooling co-op or a Christian school or just interested in human anatomy, what, a, what better way could you have than uh, taking a look at a good anatomy model to get a sense of the wonder of God's design uh, in the human body? So today we're going to take the smaller one and put it to the side and uh, take a demo walkthrough of our large human anatomy model. So we'll start at the top of the head. Removable head that shows uh, windows into the cheek side uh, with some of the cheek musculature and salivary glands. On the opposite side we've got uh, parts of the skull that are exposed, the internal of the uh, cranium. The eye is removable. It can be taken out in order to uh, observe and look at uh, the musculature on the back, uh, which helps the eye movements. Uh, there are six muscles that move the eye, and five of them are uh, visible uh, on this particular model, as well as some of the glands for uh, the tear duct. For the brain, the brain is removable into two parts, and so for students especially that are going to be doing a uh, cross-section diagram of the brain, uh, what we call a um, sagittal section, you can pull out half of the brain and you've got uh, that cross section right through showing the three major uh, brain components and those units can also be divided out into four each. So we've got uh, the cerebellum, we've got uh, the medulla, we've got the cerebrum for the upper components there and the other side of the brain is removable and divisible into those same units as well. So an eight part brain uh, for students to get a hold on and uh, it's really neat to be able to get a grasp on the entire size of the brain. You've got about three pounds worth of gray matter uh, and other matter uh, up there. And uh, so there's a good chance for students to get the chance to see just how big the brain is and what the different components are. If we take a look at the back side of our model, we can follow the central nervous system down a little bit further, where we have two different vertebrae that are removable. Those vertebrae are uh, one on the top, a thoracic vertebra, which is one of the vertebrae that connect to your spine, uh, that connect to your ribs, and there's a removable component of the spinal cord uh, with that. Lower down, we have one of the lumbar vertebrae, which is the vertebrae in your lower back, also with a small spinal cord segment, and you get a chance to see the different in, difference in shape and morphology or form uh, between these different vertebrae, and the different roles and functions that they play in your body. Turning them back around, we get into the chest cavity. Now this model overall has 40 pieces, 39 that are removable, uh, and one that is the torso housed uh, component itself. The lungs are divisible into four units, two each. So if we take off the uh, front of the right and left uh, lungs, we have uh, a view into the tissues, showing both in side view and in cross section uh, what the veins, the arteries, and the bronchial tubes um, are doing as they go through. So the light color uh, are the bronchi, uh, the red, and the blue are the arteries and veins, visible in cross-section here and uh, laterally along. So you get a chance to see where these different components are going, how deep into the tissues that they go. Now taking out the front halves of both of the lungs exposes the heart. One of the nice things about this model, and we tested over half a dozen different types, uh, before coming to a, a uh, decision on that. We uh, put it through our own paces. We have our kids play around with them for a long time, over a couple of months. We also invited other homeschoolers, directors of local CC organizations and co-ops to take a look and, and help us make some decisions. Um, all, of the, all of the components are made up of a very nice, soft, uh, malleable kind of plastic that's very rubbery, but is very durable. Uh, the overall torso itself is made of a nice hard plastic, and both of them keep their paint very well. We've been rubbing these things together as we move them around, and they really hold up very nicely. The heart is divisible into two components, uh, with a couple of the uh, big valves 
that connect the upper atria to the lower ventricles uh, available uh, in the model. Looking a little bit further down, we have the trachea, and that is removable as well, so our windpipe bringing air down to our lungs. And below that, deeper inside, um, is a unified esophagus, our uh, food tube, bringing uh, food from the mouth down to the stomach, and the descending aorta, uh, which connects to the back part of the heart, uh, just like that, and brings oxygenated blood to the lower parts of the body cavity. When we take out the remaining parts of the, of the lungs, start off on this side, a little easier, we get to see uh, some of the ribs behind and some of the rib muscles, which are called costal muscles, and they help with our breathing. Also helping with our breathing, of course, is the diaphragm. Big sheath of tissue pulls down to open our, our lungs up and take a breath, and is relaxed and pushes back up to breathe out again. It's got two holes for uh, the esophagus, as well as one of the big veins coming back up to the heart, and that is seen on the back side of the liver. We've got a uh, liver, which is about this big, it's a pretty sizable thing, and then on the bottom side of the liver is our gallbladder, in green. Immediately next to the liver is the stomach, and the stomach is removable into uh, two parts. And who'd have thought that the stomach was actually just this size? You might think that it was a lot bigger, um, but it turns out that the stomach on average is about uh, this large, a little bit larger for some people than others. Uh, and my eyes are bigger than my stomach all the time. So we've got uh, a chance to take a look inside and see some of the structure and the tissues of the stomach, a big muscular bag to help us digest stuff. This gets us further down into the guts. So we have the uh, intestines, and the intestines, of course, divided into the small intestines. Strange, because they take up more space than the other, but the size of the intestine uh, tube is smaller. On the back side, we see some of the uh, tissues that are helping hold everything together. And then we get the large intestine. Taking out the top, uh, we expose the duodenum, which is the tube that connects our stomach to the small intestine out over here. Uh, and then we've got the large intestine with a window of the connection from the small intestine into the large as it makes its move around uh, out to the back uh, to the uh, other end of the body. Also in here, we've got our uh, kidney. And the kidney is uh, kind of a window piece that is removable with two pegs. So you get to see the inside structure of the kidney responsible for helping uh, clean out uh, our blood, uh, process waste, and uh, prepare them for uh, rejection from the body through uh, the urinary tract. That brings us to the more delicate part of our model, where we start thinking about the reproductive organs. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to pause this video and uh, close it out. And you can pick up uh, our discussion of the reproductive ones uh, in the second video, just in case you want to take a break and clear the room uh, as we go through and take a look at more delicate parts of the body. Thanks again. This is Dr. Marcus Ross with Cornerstone Educational Supply. We'll see you in a minute.